up guys Oscar here with a new video this is gonna be discussing um, Barcelona letting go of Luis Suarez and of course how that connected to Luis Suarez going to Atletico Madrid and Atletico Madrid winning La Liga title yesterday but before I talk about that um, I'd like to remind you all that if you're new to my channel you like what you hear you like what you see you like European soccer content you like NFL or American football uh, content there's a channel for you, so I would appreciate it if you give me a subscribe. Give me a subscribe. Share the video with your friends and family. Comment because I like to know your thoughts. Give me a like. Um, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's talk about this. And first and foremost, um, boy oh boy, um, Barcelona. I know that you you know you have a, a new um, president, but you guys really, you guys really screwed this up. Um, you guys decide to get rid of Luis Suarez to uh, a, a a team uh, a uh, what's it a Spain rival in Atletico Madrid, and he balls out, and he is the sole reason, or one of the biggest reasons why Atletico won the La Liga title yesterday. First and foremost, Atletico Madrid, congratulations, you deserve it. You deserve to win. You got hot. You know, you started off hot. It took you, like, what, 19 matches to finally, you know, get a speed bump um, in, in in La Liga or something like that. I don't know. It was something like that. You, you were pretty much unstoppable um, the first three or four months of La Liga. Um, and then you ended up being more, you, you showed that you had cracks later down the road. But your your hot start actually was responsible for you holding on and and winning the title. Because if you would have lost yesterday, you would have lost last week. We would have been having a different conversation. But um, congratulations, Guatemala! You, you deserve the the title. Um, but anyways, back to so Barcelona. Um, Bartu, uh, Bartomeu, you know, sell you know, Luis Suarez wants out of Barcelona. Um, Bartomeu, you know, obliges because apparently, you know, Ronald Koeman didn't, did not want, um, didn't want Luis Suarez. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, Ronald Koeman, how did that work out for you? How did that work out? Um, how is, how is Barcelona, how is Antoine Griezmann working out for you? Um, he is not producing like, like what Luis Suarez used to do, um, for, for y'all. Um, you know, 13 goals. You know, it's good, but Lionel Messi needs more help. Um so you guys are you guys are stupid. You guys are dumb of an organization for, for letting that happen. For you know, if it was Luis Suarez to Juventus, you know, I, I understand that y'all are broke. You know, right now, you know, Europe you know, Europe is, is dealing with, you know, you know, everyone in the worldwide is trying to you know, rebuild businesses and all that. And I understand that at the time, you know, you guys were, you know, you, you guys were in billion, you know, billions of dollars in debt. But really, you could have gotten rid of um, Luis Suarez to Juventus. You probably would have had to only see him like twice um, this this past year. He wouldn't have probably haunted um, Real Madrid or Barcelona um, in La Liga this year. Because Luis Suarez had... Has had 21 goals this past year, and those two goals that he scored this past, you know, these past two weeks, you know, gave them the title. Because if it wasn't for him, Atlético would have had to find ways to win without, you know, a main striker. But no, you know, he's there. He shows up, scores goals. He's the the unsung hero. And there you go. Um. So Barcelona, you're bad. You're you know you you are right now. You're you're dealing with mediocrity. I guarantee you, you pissed off Real Madrid yesterday for for the sale of Luis Suarez to Atletico. Um, you're probably upset as well because you're like, man, you know, we shouldn't have really gotten rid of Luis Suarez, or at least you know we could have gotten rid of him to a team that won't come back to haunt us, or. We could have gotten rid of an Antoine Griezmann. Because Antoine Griezmann, he has done nothing for Barcelona. Luis Suarez at least has a title. He won a title in his first year at Atletico. 
What has Antoine Griezmann done in the last two years? Nothing. What has he won? A Copa del Rey? Whatever. That's a small trophy. And you're, I know that, you know, for... Oh, Real Madrid, you're a Real Madrid fan. You're gonna... You, you guys didn't win any titles this year. Whatever. I, I, I acknowledge that. You know, subscribe to my channel if you want to backlash on, on Real Madrid if you want to hear that. I, I encourage that. You guys you, you guys can rip me for all, for all I care. I don't care. Um... So... You know, it is what it is. Bartomeu is no longer there, so we'll have to see what what's this guy's name. I don't even know. Eduardo Puerta, Puertas or Puertos. I don't even know who the new president is for for Barcelona. To be honest, um, he's probably gonna be smarter with getting rid of players to which team. I guarantee you, he ain't gonna be giving players to um to Atletico, to Real, to any of these because they they barely. Scraped the barrel out of third place. If they would have lost or tied yesterday, and if Sevilla would have, and if Sevilla won today, Barcelona would have been in fourth place. So, mm, I don't think that Barcelona will be making any more deals with um, players within the in in La Liga. I think they're gonna like okay, nope, we're not dealing with any of these. Getting rid of players to to our to our rivals anymore. I think we're just gonna go ahead and sell them to players that you know won't haunt us or whatever. Um, because you know that you guys got to rebuild. Um, you know, same as Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Real Madrid are in the same boat. They um they both have to rebuild. Um, you know, Karim Benzema isn't getting any younger. Lionel Messi isn't getting any younger. They they both need help. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, you know, in, in my opinion, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Antoine Griezmann should be the ones to go? Or, or should be one of the ones to go? Let me know. Um, I honestly, you know, Antoine Griezmann, when, I, when he used to play for Atletico, I, as a Madrid fan, feared uh, Antoine Griezmann um, when, with Atletico. Because he actually scored goals. For Atletico and against Real Madrid, you know. But since he's joined Barcelona, I don't think he has scored a goal against Real Madrid since joining Barcelona. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think so. Let me see. No, I don't think so. I could be wrong about that. Let me know in the comments down below. But I think I, I'm right about that. Antoine Griezmann has not scored against Real Madrid since joining Barcelona in the last two years. So, um, yeah. Um, Luis Suarez, Atletico, um, wow, um, Barcelona, like I said, Bartomeu did Barcelona wrong, did Barcelona horrible, you know, he was a bad president, you know, you know, he was, you know, he's right now dealing with scandals, he's right now in prison for last time I checked, he's in prison for tax evasion or something like that, it was something along those lines, um, so we'll have to see what, um, the new, pre you know, the president that Barcelona selected back in March will do. Um, he was Barcelona's president from, you know, back in 2004. You know, if he can find something I got to give Ronald Koeman f credit for is I don't, and I don't know if it's going to be worth sticking around for is that he's able, you know, he was able to develop the younger talent. He developed Pedri, he developed, um, Ansu Fati before he got hurt, um, he developed who else was young on that team? Sardinho Dest and and all those and all those younger players. That's what I gotta give credit for um Ronald Coleman. I wish that Real Madrid, you know, and and I'll talk about Zinedine Zidane in a later video. Um and that's something that I would have hoped for Zinedine Zidane, that he was able to develop younger players because now, you know, Zinedine Zidane was not able to do that. He didn't favor the younger guys, he favored the veterans. The veterans kept on getting hurt, and when he had to rely on the youngsters, you know, he couldn't, you know, the youngsters, you know, took a while to get their, you know, get their bearings around them because Zinedine Zidane didn't know how to, you know, mentor them and develop them. You know, they had to find their own way as time went on. So Zinedine Zidane doesn't know how to, you know, doesn't know how to develop talent, in my opinion. And Ronald Koeman actually did know, or does know. You know, he was able to develop, like I said, a handful of, the youngsters somewhat, even though it kind of, his lineups kind of got redundant towards the end, and and that's what 
you know, got Bar, you know, had Real Madrid, uh, not Real Madrid, Barcelona go stale. Um, but hey, you know, you need to find that guy that can continue the, you know, if it's not Ronald Koeman, then you got to find a, a manager that will continue to develop these guys. So, uh, I'll, you know, I'll give Ronald Koeman and Barcelona that. So we'll have to wait and see. But, um, alrighty guys, that'll do it for this video. Um, like I said at the beginning, give me a subscribe if you're new. If you like European Star content, you like uh, NFL content, um, give me a like, share the video with your friends and family, comment, because I'd like to know your thoughts. Until then, guys, keep it real. See you guys next time. Peace.